I, I'll take some example. For example, of, uh, at our uh, at Incurious, what we try to do is we're trying to build a lot of different uh, problem statements, use cases across industries. So I think one thing definitely it helps me is accelerating my research to get to the point actually. Uh, and then on top of it, uh, then you on top of it you add your touch and uh, and that also you put in some, in some instruction way. So I'm able to create a workflow, say in Chat GPT, right? But uh, mm -hmm. then, uh, but then when we uh, uh, the, then it comes there. Okay, how do I sort of automate it? It's like I'm writing a macro uh, in Excel, and then I say that okay, record that macro and let this macro run whenever I want. So that's yeah. that how do we. And you must you must be working a lot of hard problems as you mentioned that at fast code and uh, uh, outside also. The, uh, mm -hmm. So uh, just wanted to understand uh, in more depth in this one. Yeah, absolutely. So automating it is again very very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if we so there are two ways to do it. The easier one is to call APIs, and the slightly uh, you know uh, something which has a slightly higher bar is you when you want to have an on-premise installation because you don't want to send your data outside your network and so on. Mm -hmm. And both are possible and not that hard. But let's talk about the easier case where it's simply about calling an API, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what we then need to do is we need to get uh access to uh let's say open ai's uh apis they'll give you an api key and then yeah. we simply need to know how to call a function in python mm. or what have you with mm. the right context the right mm. prompt and then it's exactly the same as you would in mm. your gpt interface mm. but then you can program around it you can choose programmatically what to put mm. as context and prompt you can choose programmatically what to do mm. with the output so that you can mm. then add some guardrails bounds and checks if you mm. you can ask gpt to return jsons though mm. one time out of say 100 it may not return a well-formed json so then you mm. need to add these checks and tasks and automate this workflow mm. like you were talking mm. about 